previous exercise, we demonstrated prepared statements using PDO. In this exercise, we'll demonstrate how to prepare statements using the MySQL I extension. Our goal is to create a prepared statement that will insert users into this people table. So we'll show how to prepare the statement and then execute it multiple times. The first thing we'll do is create a variable that represents the MySQLI database connection handler. So we'll say MySQLI is equal to new MySQLI class. In between the parentheses, we'll put in the parameters for connecting to our database. And on the next line, we're going to put in a little if condition in place just to catch any MySQL connection errors if you happen to put the wrong information in here. Now we'll create a variable that represents our SQL syntax. And then let's put a little note to ourselves above that. So you see for the values parameters, there's little question marks. So the note reads, the question marks below are parameter markers used for variable binding. Now let's create the statement. STMT is equal to MySQLI variable. And we run the prepare function. Prepare, open close parentheses, semicolon, and then we'll put our SQL syntax right there. So this SQL syntax is going to be your template of sorts for your prepared statement. Now we can just grab that variable and on the next line we're going to bind these parameters to variables. So we'll type in STMT and we'll run the bind param function. Param. We'll just put a little note that says bind variables. Now the first parameter represents the type of data. So what I'm going to put is string 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 s represents string because i'm going to have three variables so my next parameter is the first variable is going to be u which represents the username in the database the next variable is going to be g which represents gender column in the database then the next variable is going to be c which represents the country column in the database so you see we have sss that means string 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 each one of these variables are strings. And here are the different options that you can apply there. You see I'm using the S, which is string. And there's the I, if you want to have an integer type data. Or the D, if it's a decimal number. And then B is for blob type data. So that's why I have three S's in place. Now what we're going to do is populate the variable data. So the username will be Anton. Gender will be male. And the country he's from is Sweden. Now all we have to do is execute the prepared statement. So we'll put the statement variable here, and then we'll run the execute function. We'll put a little note right there to ourselves. Execute the prepared statement. So at that point, you're going to get an insert. Now where prepared statements come in handy is, let's go ahead and run that again. Now when the second insert occurs, there's going to be resources saved because the system the MySQL database system doesn't have to analyze or optimize the query because it's already been optimized in the prepared statement and analyzed. So now in the demo, you'll have two inserts there. Now the next thing you can do on the statement variable is close the prepared statement. So you can run the close function. Then we're going to target the MySQLI variable and we're going to close that as well. So that shows you the basics of working with prepared statements. Now I'm going to run this on my server after I put in my database credentials and then I'll check my database for the results.